Hey you guys, it's Salt of Sob, and today I'm going to show you how to get some free games. So what you want to do is, if you use Google Chrome, uh, you want to have Adblock Plus turned on. Uh, that way it like protects you from like getting spyware and shit from all the ads and whatnot. Uh, so you go to Google, and then the first website we're going to is itch.io. And this website has all kinds of free games. Uh, if you want, you can donate to the developers, it would help them out. Uh, and then that would just encourage them to do newer content or whatever. Uh, and then eventually they'll get put on like Steam if they want st their games on Steam or whatever. Uh, but if you go to itch.io, you can search for, I don't know, like Raft. Because that's one of the, more, probably one of the best games they have on itch. Uh, and then that's actually how you would get Raft for free. It's this first game here. Uh, my internet's really slow today, so I've been resetting my router like twice. This is a bunch of bullshit. Uh, so once you have uh, itch pulled up, they have several different games that's free, and then they have some that's like two and three dollars. Uh, so let's click for, and it's still loading. So let's say you want to get raft. Uh, and this would be pretty much how you would get raft. So, and then you click download now, and it says name your own price, and that's pretty much like you can put a dollar, you can put fifty cents. Uh, you don't even have to pay. So, like, we'll click download, and it says games free by the developer, uh, or but the developer. But anyway, so like he'll take your donations or whatever. Uh, I always pay for my games, and the reason why I pay for the games is because like I have the itch app, and the way it works is. It will not show up in here if it's fr if it's free. So like, uh, let me see if I can a uh, game that's free. I don't think I have any games that's free actually. Anyway, so Raft I paid for. I actually donated like twenty bucks because that's a damn good game. Uh, Overland I think it was like thirty or forty. I don't even remember. Uh, Moonbase was like three bucks. But some of these games you don't really have to pay for. Uh, but if you're doing itch, it would just be best if you donate towards the developers. Alright, but other than itch, uh, which there is several free games on itch. Uh, let's just check it out. So, like, uh, free games, click free games. There's several, I think there's like two or three hundred, maybe more than that, but there's several different games. You just have to let it load up. Hopefully your internet's a lot faster than mine. Yeah, another good game that's free is My Little Blacksmith, uh, which is a pretty damn good game. Uh, yeah, Right Click Necromance. A lot of these games are pretty good. Uh, other than Itch, there is, uh, I think, GOG. Yeah, GOG.com. GOG stands for Good Old Games. Uh, you may remember, like, uh, let's see, for example... They remake a lot of older games that was around for like Windows XP or 95 or Windows 98 to where they'll be redesigned to work on Windows 7. So just to give you guys an idea, uh, let me pull up my drive, Steam, uh, let's see, Steam Apps, common. Let's say you have, uh, I don't know, like the old Duke Nukem maybe, or Doom. Yeah, Ultimate Doom, here's one. They pretty much remake all the games in DOSBox, which anybody can do that, and program it with like Windows XP or like, uh, no, I know you can't do XP. I think it's Windows 95 or Windows 98, and then they program the game to work on 95 or 98 through a virtual image, and then they pretty much sell the game. So that's how these people do it too. Uh, and they do have free games. Let me see. You go to games. Price. And then you do free. And I believe they have like probably two or three thousand different games here. Which I'm, I have it very limited for searching on this. Uh, anyway, so you can search here too for free games and then the other website I believe it is yeah Game Jolt so Game Jolt is another good website most of these are newer games it's uh, the developers put out there uh, to get people to try the game out and before they like green light it or something on Steam uh, so it's always good if you wanted to help donate to go towards the developers it would help them out 
and eventually the games get a lot better. So I've seen uh, to be like still the main example I always use is Raft because uh, it was like pre pre alpha when it first came out. It was just all super fucked up, uh, which now is like a whole lot better. And now they're starting to do the multiplayer. So and that's actually a mod. Yeah, you can multiplay on Raft. Um, but it's actually a pretty damn good game, so I'd recommend trying that out. Um, and that's it. So pretty much Game Jolt, uh, itch.io, and gog.com. Yeah, now my internet's working better. But anyway, so those are three good websites. Um, if you like the video, like. If you want to subscribe, you can. Uh, we have several channels going on, several different games that we're playing and testing and trying out uh we always get sent different codes to try or not codes but like uh, uh yeah like steam codes to try different games and different things but anyway and i'm really tired so it's like three it's like 3 a.m right now for me eastern time but anyways thanks again for watching our videos i uh, hope this helped you find some free games and i really recommend trying raft damn good game <laughs> And no, I'm not sponsored to uh, let people know about Raft. It's just a pretty good game. But anyways, thanks again for watching the video. Later.